Berlin's Technical University. These students are waiting for a lecture in financial mathematics. One of them is Julia Ruscha. She's a third-year math student. When the lecture's over, most of the students head home. But Julia Ruscha goes to her office in the university. Here she ponders formulas and equations and develops mathematical models. Her area of expertise is stochastic processes, the study of randomness and probability. It starts with a coin toss or playing the lottery. It involves simple things connected to random processes. And my field of study goes right up to the dynamics of populations. That's what I'm looking at. Julia analyzes the mathematical laws that determine how bacteria multiply. The same rules apply to animals and even humans. I'm trying to describe abstract models in both mathematical and very general terms. Let's look at an example. Take rabbits. They might all look different, but they are all related to one another. Through the process of mutation, colors, shapes and sizes have changed over time. Individuals die and individuals are born. There are certain dynamics in the population. What interests me as a mathematician is how to describe that. I want to find a clear, succinct, precise description for that. In other words, Yulia is trying to boil down the evolutionary history of species to a single formula. She deals in huge numbers. Her models don't look at 10, 100 or even a thousand rabbits, but an infinite number of the animals. Infinite numbers are Yulia Rusha's speciality. She's currently writing her thesis at the Berlin Mathematical School, which brings together students from the German capital's three universities. Here she carries out research together with her professors, discussing methods and theories. There are times when I do less and focus on other things that interest me. But there are times when I'm so transfixed with a problem that I only want to focus on that and that alone. Whatever mathematical conundrum Yulia Ruscha turns her hand to, it receives all of her attention. She says mathematics should be just like movement in ballet. Rhythmic, elegant and crystal clear.